Theology views divine matters with feminine perspectives including but not only feminism. Valerie Siving, Isaac Bonuitz and Naomi Goldenberg introduced the concept as a neologism new word in feminist terms. Its use then widened to mean all feminine ideas of the sacred, which Charlotte Caron usefully explained in 1993, "...reflection on the divine in feminine or feminist terms." By 1996, when Melissa Raphael published Theology and Embodiment, the term was well established. As a neologism, the term derives from two Greek words, thea, thea meaning, goddess, the feminine equivalent of theos, god, from pi root asterisk dhes, and logos, logos plural logoi, often found in English as the suffix logi, meaning, word reason", or plan", and in Greek philosophy and theology the divine reason implicit in the cosmos, theology has areas in common with feminist theology, the study of God from a feminist perspective, often emphasizing monotheism. Thus the relation is an overlap as theology is not limited to deity in spite of its etymology, the two fields have been described as both related and interdependent. <laughs> History of the term The term's origin and initial use is open to continuing debate. Patricia Ayalana traces the early use of the neologism to 1976 crediting both Valerie Siving and Isaac Bonuitz for its initial use. The coinage of theologian on record by Bonuitz in 1976 has been promoted. In the 1979 book Changing of the Gods, Naomi Goldenberg introduces the term as a future possibility with respect to a distinct discourse, highlighting the masculine nature of theology. Also in 1979, in the first revised edition of Real Magic, Bonuitz defined theology", in his glossary as, "...intellectual speculations concerning the nature of the goddess and her relations to the world in general and humans in particular, rational explanations of religious doctrines, practices and beliefs, which may or may not bear any connection to any religion as actually conceived and practiced by the majority of its members." Also in the same glossary, he defined theology with nearly identical words, changing the feminine pronouns with masculine pronouns appropriately. Carol P. Christ used the term in Laughter of Aphrodite, 1987, claiming that those creating theology could not avoid being influenced by the categories and questions posed in Christian and Jewish theologies. She further defined theology in her 2002 essay, "'Feminist Theology as Post-Traditional Theology' as "'The Reflection on the Meaning of the Goddess' in her 1989 essay, "'On Mirrors, Mists and Murmurs, Toward an Asian American Theology'." Rita Nakashima Brock defined theology as the work of women reflecting on their experiences of and beliefs about divine reality." Also in 1989, Ursula King notes theology's growing usage as a fundamental departure from traditional male-oriented theology, characterized by its privileging of symbols over rational explanation. In 1993, Charlotte Caron's inclusive and clear definition of theology as reflection on the divine in feminine and feminist terms appeared in to make and make again. By this time, the concept had gained considerable status among goddess adherents. As academic discipline 
situated in relationship to the fields of theology and religious studies. Theology is a discourse that critically engages the beliefs, wisdom, practices, questions, and values of the goddess community, both past and present. Similar to theology, theology grapples with questions of meaning, include reflecting on the nature of the divine, the relationship of humanity to the environment, the relationship between the spiritual and sexual self, and the nature of belief. However, in contrast to theology, which often focuses on an exclusively logical and empirical discourse, theology embraces a postmodern discourse of personal experience and complexity. The term suggests a feminist approach to theism and the context of God and gender within paganism, neopaganism, goddess spirituality, and various nature based religions. However, theology can be described as religiously pluralistic, as theologians come from various religious backgrounds that are often hybrid in nature. In addition to pagans, neo-pagans, and goddess-centered faith traditions, they are also Christian, Jewish, Buddhist, Muslim, Quakers, etc. or define themselves as spiritual feminists. As such, the term theology has also been used by feminists within mainstream monotheistic religions to describe in more detail the feminine aspect of a monotheistic deity or trinity, such as God, Des herself, or the Heavenly Mother of the Latter-day Saint movement. In 2000, Melissa Raphael wrote the text Introducing Theology, Discourse on the Goddess for the series Introductions in Feminist Theology. Written for an academic audience, it purports to introduce the main elements of theology within the context of goddess feminism. She situates theology as a discourse that can be engaged with by goddess feminists those who are feminist adherents of the goddess who may have left their church, synagogue, or mosque—or those who may still belong to their originally established religion. In the book, Raphael compares and contrasts theology with the goddess movement. In 2007, Paul Reed Bowen wrote the text, "'Goddess as Nature, Towards a Philosophical Theology." which can be regarded as another systematic approach to theology, but which integrates philosophical discourse. In the past decade, other theologians like Patricia Ayalana and Devorah Gren have generated discourses that bridge theology with other academic disciplines. Ayalana's Jungian theology bridges analytical psychology with theology, and Gren's metaphormic theology is a bridge between matriarchal studies and theology. Contemporary theologians include Carol P. Christ, Melissa Raphael, Asphodel Long, Beverly Clack, Charlotte Caron, Naomi Goldenberg, Paul Reed Bowen, Rita Nakashima Brock, and Patricia Ayalana. Topic: Criticisms. At least one Christian theologist dismisses theology as the creation of a new deity made up by radical feminists. Paul Reed Bowen and Chaywan Mallory point out that essentialism is a problematic slippery slope when goddess feminists argue that women are inherently better than men or inherently closer to the goddess. In his book Goddess Unmasked, The Rise of Neopagan Feminist Spirituality, Philip G. Davis levies a number of criticisms against the goddess movement, including logical fallacies, hypocrisies, and essentialism. Theology has also been criticized for its objection to empiricism and reason. In this critique, theology is seen as flawed by rejecting a purely empirical worldview for a purely relativistic one. Meanwhile, scholars like Harding and Haraway seek a middle ground of feminist empiricism. See also 
Devi, Hindu goddess, God and gender, Goddess movement, Goddess worship, Matriarchal religion, Matriarchy, Mother goddess. <laughs> <laughs>